as we continue our discovery of atoms and take a look at energy and how energy and atoms work together, we're going to turn our gaze back inward to the nucleus of the atom and take a look at nuclear chemistry. We're going to primarily focusing on the terminology and the reactions of nuclear chemistry. So we'll start with this guy, Henri Becquerel. Henri Becquerel is credited with discovering this concept of radioactive decay when he placed a rock which contained some of the element uranium into a drawer and inside that drawer there was also some unexposed brand new photographic plates that were wrapped up. When he later developed the plates he found that they had been exposed even though they were nowhere near a light source and they were in the dark confines of the drawer and they were wrapped up yet they had still been exposed. And then upon careful examination, Becquerel was able to determine that something came out of the rock that caused the photographic plates to react as if they'd been hit by light. Well, we now know that the rock was emitting x-rays, which is what uranium does, uh, and that, that those x-rays can have the same effect on photographic paper or photographic plates as regular old visible light. A little bit later on, Marie Curie came along. Uh, she discovered this concept of radioactivity. And her experiments with pitch blend, which is a, a uranium and radium containing ore, uh, allowed her to discover radioactivity as a product of the disintegration of atomic nuclei. It was one of the best pieces of evidence for the concept or the fact that atoms are made up of smaller particles. And so we owe a lot to Marie Curie. She has an element named after her, curium, and uh, she is considered the mother of modern radioactivity. We need to take a look at the three common types of radioactivity. Uh, we call them alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. They are summarized in this graphic rather nicely. Uh, the symbol for alpha, if you look at it, there are two symbols that are commonly used. The first is uh, the symbol for a helium-4 atom. Uh, the other is has the same mass number 4 and 2, but it has the symbol alpha. Uh, an alpha particle is just a helium-4 nucleus. Now, it's a helium-4 nucleus with no electrons, which is why it has a charge of plus 2. And its mass is it's fairly big. 6.65 times 10 to the negative 24th grams for each of these particles. Uh, when we're talking about tiny, tiny little particles, that's a, that's a significant mass. Alpha particles are pretty big. Uh, they're so big, though, that they don't move very fast. And because they don't move very fast, um, they're not, they don't penetrate very well. Uh, an alpha particle can be stopped by paper, skin, uh, fibrous clothing. Anything that, that has a pretty fibrous nature will stop an alpha particle. So you can literally stop a, a wave of alpha particles or a beam of alpha particles by holding up an index card. It'll, it'll, it'll just bounce right off. Uh, beta particle is actually nothing more than an electron. It's a very high energy electron. And so its symbol is an E, which is what we use for electrons. It has a mass number of zero because it has no protons and no neutrons. And it has an atomic number of minus one. It doesn't have any protons, but its charge is minus one. It's sort of like the opposite of a proton. We can also use a symbol with a, a, a lowercase letter uh, beta, which is the Greek letter B. Charge of minus one, very small mass, on the order of four powers of 10, or 10,000 times smaller than the mass of an alpha particle. Tiny, but because it has so much energy and it's so small, it can penetrate through paper very easily. Uh, it could be stopped by about a half centimeter of lead. Lead is very dense. And the lead, at lead atoms are very dense, very tightly packed together. And so those beta particles, those energy, uh, high energy electrons, they don't, they don't pass through the lead. The third type of radiation is called gamma radiation. It's represented by a lowercase gamma. Sometimes you'll see zeros for the mass number and the atomic number because uh, it's not a particle. It's nothing more than gamma waves, uh, photons. So it has no charge and it has no mass, but it is extremely high in energy. The gamma rays are, are pretty far down in the, uh, the smallest wavelengths or highest frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, because of its lack of mass and very high energy, it can pass right through a half centimeter of lead. You need about 10 centimeters of lead thickness to stop gamma rays. So those are the three general types of radiation that are going to be involved in this nuclear decay.